Essence of Jerusalem, Eau de Toilette for Men. This is a poor ohm. Um, I reviewed this, I think it was January 2019, and I actually posted a little 15 second video um, that I'm doing now um, of my fragrance of the day about a week, week and a half ago. I had a friend, one of my really good friends on here, um, Veritas Vincent is his YouTube channel name. He actually asked me if I could uh, review this again. I think he might have seen the original video that I did, but he wanted me to um, redo this video or just do it again. And I would be glad to, if anybody has any suggestions that they want me to do, just let me know and I will do them. Um, it's sort of hard to see the bottle, the way this label is designed and the colors, the writing and everything. It's hard to see it unless it's in perfect lighting. Um, but I am not 100% sure about the notes. I know some of the notes, so I'm just going to tell you what I smell. Basically, in my opinion, this is very similar to, it's similar, it doesn't smell the same, it's similar to pack a ribbon pour ohm and it's a little bit similar to reef gauche pour ohm by Yves Saint Laurent. Um, it doesn't smell quite like these but it's in the same um, ballpark as those two. Um, this is a little bit different. I'll tell you what I get. Um, this is fairly linear. It does develop and change a little bit but it's basically this is a spicy barbershop fragrance like um shaving foam it's spicy it's it has a lot of herbs i can tell um it has that shaving foam vibe there is a rose that comes in in the mid that gives it a really really beautiful floral um i think this is maybe it's almost like a combination of reef gauche pour homme and paco ribbon pour homme it's got an elegancy to it, um, but has a really sharpness. It's very masculine, um, mature, good quality. And this is actually one of my favorite barbershop style fragrances. Um, I think this is sort of a Israeli take on a barbershop fragrance. Um, this is actually made in Jerusalem. I ordered this and got it shipped from Jerusalem and all the ingredients, all the materials um, are indigenous of Israel and Jerusalem and surrounding area. Um, everything in this is cultivated in Israel or around Jerusalem. Um, so there's no imported ingredients in this. It's all from Israel, um, which I think is pretty cool. I love this fragrance. Um, when I actually got this, I wanted to, I was trying to get fragrances from all over the world, Spain, Italy, France. I have a lot from the United States. Um, Jerusalem and Israel means a lot to me. And I always wanted to get a fragrance from Jerusalem or Israel or somewhere around there. And I actually looked online searching for something about three years ago and I actually found this. And I'm so glad that I got it. It's actually very inexpensive, even with shipping and stuff. I think this is under, I can't remember. I think this is under 50 bucks, um, but I will find a link to where I got this. I think I got it through Amazon. I will find a link in the description or uh, I will find a link to where I got this and put it in the description if you're interested. Really good quality, really good, a really good twist on the barbershop fragrance. Um, but if you're interested, I do recommend this. I really, really like this a lot. Um, but if you have any questions, just let me know down in the comment section. Peace.